Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. And today I want to keep it short and simple. I want to talk about the whole financial market with everything that's been happening this week alone. It's been a very interesting week with the Department of Justice coming out talking about all of the new investigations and search warrants from Citadel to Morgan Stanley, and the list just goes down from there. But also, what's happening with Bitcoin and Ethereum in El Salvador? This is huge. It's a revolution within an evolution with a whole new financial system that is, again, shaking and it's going to change up the old system. And this is what's scaring all governments around the world. So let's get into this. Why Bitcoin and Ethereum? This is a totally new asset class. And if you're familiar with this, that's fantastic because you're up to date with everything that's going on. But also how it's going to be utilized for your benefit. Compared to the old school rules, which was your money was never really supposed to be used for your benefits. Benefit the banks, the government, and everybody else. But now going along with what El Salvador has done is to basically think about a 3% meager adoption rate and investment into their whole economy. They haven't bought that much, but it's what they're doing is sending shockwaves to the IMF and the US because this scares them away from currency of pegging it to the US dollar. Now, what they've said is, hey, we're, they're going to use this Bitcoin as a currency alongside the US dollar. But the IMF has said, hey, you can't do this. We're not going to give you a loan until you take away the Bitcoin. U.S. senators have said, hey, you can't use Bitcoin. This is a danger to our stability here. And what has the president said? Hey, you know what? Back off, you boomers. He wants nothing to do with this. He says, stay out of our front yard, stay out of our backyard, mind your own business. And this is this is the most important thing here because this is a rabbit hole that I don't want to go, want to go down. It's not a politics and economics, but in general, talking about a country who's sticking it to the old system, and of course, the U.S. with the U.S. dollar and saying, we need to do this for our own sake. We need to grow our, our economy. We need to grow our nation with this new asset class. And this is what's most interesting about it. It makes you think, this is only 3%. Why is the U.S. and the IMF scared so much of one country, again, another country, adopting this as a currency? What are they scared of? And if you understand Bitcoin and way it's been developed as a pretty much a asset like gold it can retain retain its value whereas ethereum is more like a currency and has all different protocols and technology that can be used with it to help transactions but as a stored currency bitcoin is fantastic going along with that lines and to people who who invest in the stock market who who lost money to enron price waterhouse coopers uh, the 2008-2009 stock market crash, the list goes on. Do you trust the stock market? All of these things were, again, we're never in our best interests. Because who has our best interest? Do banks have our best interest to take a loan, to invest in, to use college loans? Do they have our best interest? No, they don't. Even open IRAs. Where is that money being used? That stock is most likely being shorted on the system. They're always taking money off of your money. Right now, Who's keeping your money inside? Not you, the banks, the Fed, the governments, all using your money against you to keep you in place. What has the government, your government, and even my government where I am overseas, done to make so that my future is guaranteed for me to feel safe? They've done nothing. I left the USA because I knew partially that Social Security system for my retirement, it's not going to be there to support myself. I have to find another way that will be financially viable for me to basically invest in continue my own living when I get older. Who's looking up for you? Who's looking up for me? And you have to think, you look in the mirror, you're the only one that's gonna be responsible for your future and the decisions that you're gonna make. And that's where it comes down to, you're just gonna put your money in the bank, let it sit there for the 0.01% interest, put it under your pillow, what are you gonna do? This is where everything comes in a bigger picture. Cryptocurrency, DeFi, and FinTech. And also, hopefully with the adaptation and investigations with the stock market, especially right now, the DOJ investigating and serving all these warrants out. Hope this is sending shockwaves to the old system. The old system is basically Swiss cheese. It has so many holes inside right now because of, and what's going to fill these holes in a different, totally different system that's running parallel is the blockchain system, with all the cryptocurrencies and how this is gaining momentum. The most important thing is taking a look and watch to see what El Salvador does. Why are they doing this? 
yes, there's a lot going on with him politically. The president, I understand that. Debatable. But also financially, for you, I understand Bitcoin, but also the, the theory market. How are you going to be able to utilize your money, your wallets? Are you going to be able to look after it, invest, even stake and learn to really gain more financial freedom? To really become your own bank. I mean, if you familiar with loop ring and the technology of loop ring wallet, becoming your own bank and having a non-custodial wallet where you're in control of everything. Banks can't just freeze your money like they want to do in Canada for the trucking fiasco that's going on up there. They'll freeze everybody's accounts. But if you have a non-custodial wallet, you're in charge of that. And this is, again, this everything's just being set up and staged right now in 2022. The next year or two, when things move along, move along, more adoption and more cryptocurrency protocols become used in different technologies to make our life easier. It's all there. It's coming together. It's all being put in place for us to utilize, make us more financially secure and understand how we can use the system the way it's meant to be. So all of you out there, keep learning, keep educating and understanding how you can make money for yourself and how you can use your money to work for yourself. All right, that's the most important thing going forward every single day. Have a great day, have a great weekend, game on. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless, I don't wanna be one.